Hey guys, today I thought I would share with you what's in my carry-on bag. So I just got back from a trip to Vegas with some girlfriends and I thought I would just show you what I pack in my carry-on and which bag it is that I took. So I did take the Lug Canter 2 in this black color and I thought I would just show you some different compartments of this bag, some of the things that I take. And just to let you know, I did fly Spirit. It was the very first time that I flew Spirit. So this was a perfect size to fit in the seat in front of you. So let's just go ahead and dive into this video on what is in my carry-on bag. So it all depends on whether or not I'm going to have a carry-on suitcase as well, what type of bag that I usually like to carry. So for this particular trip, I checked my bag because it was cheaper on Spirit Airlines to check your bag than to carry it on. So I went ahead and checked my bag so I did not have any kind of suitcase throughout the airport. So in that case, I like to carry a backpack. So this was the backpack that I chose to carry for this trip. It's really nice and lightweight before you have it packed up and even after you pack it up, it's really not that heavy at all. But if I do have a rolling suitcase in the airport that I'm carrying on as well, then I do choose a different bag. It's more of a duffel style bag that I really like to use. But for this video, I'm gonna show you how I pack this backpack up. And like I said, this is a good size for under the seat in front of you. When I look for a bag, I always like to make sure that the bag that I'm gonna be putting in this under the seat in front of me is going to be a dark color because a lot of times you don't know if you're going to get any kind of greases on there or anything from the seat in front of you, or you do not know what is under that seat. I used to be a flight attendant, and I know very well that they don't really clean in that area very good between all your flights. So I always like to have something that is really dark just so it's not going to show any kind of spots or stains or anything from anything that it have, could have gotten from under the seat in front of you. I also like this bag because it has this nice wipeable bottom. So if you do get something on this, then you can just wipe it off really easily. And all this material is a very good wipeable material as well. So that's why I choose this dark color. So I got it in the black and let's just go ahead and go over this. So like I said, this is the Lug Canter 2 and this can be carried different ways. So you can just carry it by the tote handles if you wanna do it that way. And then it also has these really nice padded backpack straps that you can use and they also have this rubber grip on them as well so they're not going to slide off your clothes and it also comes with a one inch crossbody strap so you could carry it over the shoulder or as a crossbody as well i never choose to do it this way if i'm going to carry this bag i do like to carry it as a backpack but it does have this little area right here and it's black and dark and i know it's probably hard to see but you can tuck the backpack straps in here if you choose to not use this as a backpack this also has these little rings so you can take these off and detach these slide these under this little area right here so you don't even see the little rings and then you can take the straps and put them down in this area right here if you want to carry it as a shoulder bag a tote style or as a crossbody bag so let's just go ahead since i had the back of this bag shown to you it also has a really nice trolley sleeve so i do like that so if you are carrying this with a rolling suitcase then you can just put this on here. So after I got my checked bag, then I just slid this over the handles of the suitcase and just went right on through the airport. Then right up above here is also like this little hidden zipper area. So I never carry anything in this. I leave this empty so I can put any kind of receipts or papers or anything that I might need um, as I go throughout the day. So I do leave that empty in here. So I did not put anything in here. Plus, if you get this really bulky, then it kind of comes into your trolley sleeves and makes it a little bit harder for you to slide this down over your handles on your suitcase. So I did leave this empty, but it is nice that it has this trolley sleeve in the bag. Then it does have it adjustable if you wanna carry it a different way and not a backpack, but it has some really nice padded backpack straps. They're really comfortable on your back but then you can always tuck them away in this area and then it does have that zipper area in the back. I also do like that it has these carrying handles, but let's just go ahead and empty out the sides of these and then I will go into what's inside the bag as well. I also like that these straps do lay down flat, so if you are not using them, they don't stick up or they don't stick out, they do lay flat. I do like that about it. So you have two water bottle pockets and I always carry my swell bottle with me when I travel because I will always fill it up in some kind of water filling station. So I send it through TSA completely empty and then I will fill it up as soon as I get to the other side. 
because you have recycled air in those airplanes and you want to make sure that you stay hydrated. These do have a little bit of padding in them if you want to put something in there that you also want to keep protected. You can do that instead of a water bottle. But I do have a water bottle on one side of this. And then when you turn it around to the other side, I do like to stick my sunglasses in there so that whenever I land wherever I'm going, I can immediately have easy access to my sunglasses. I do leave them in their case and just put them in one side of this. Now this does have a magnetic close. So when it's not in use, you can close this up with the magnetic close. And then let's just go on to this area right here. So this is a magnetic close area as well. Soft lined, so you can put your phone in here. So what I like to do is I like to have my passport in here because I always travel with my passport instead of my license. And um, I like to have my passport in here along with my phone. So I will just slide off both of those in here. That way when I'm going to security and through TSA, I can just hand them my passport and my phone. And then as soon as I hand that to them, I can slide this in there real easily before I put this through the x-ray machine. So that's real easy and convenient to just slide that back down in there instead of having to zip, uh, unzip things and put them in there or just put them on the little basket that goes through the x-ray machine and lose it. So I like that. So it's just handy to really easily put that back in there with your phone, your passport, they're all together. And then actually, I think I might have my baggage claim ticket in here too. Yeah, so after I checked my bag, I did put my baggage claim ticket in there as well just to keep everything really nice and handy there. And then you can see this has got some really nice quilting on here as well. And then you have a gunmetal lug logo here, so it kind of just makes it stand out a little bit and some really nice gunmetal zipper pulls and some hardware that's gunmetal as well. So back behind this felt lined soft pocket that has that magnetic closure that's perfect to fit your cell phone, any size cell phone, and your passport down in there. And of course, I put my luggage claim ticket down there as well. You have a single zip zipper that kind of zips around to the side right behind that. And then this does have a built-in wallet in here, but what I do is I just stick my wallet down in here so it's easy access. If I wanna grab a drink, a snack, or anything at the airport, then I can just pull this out of this front zipper right here. And it's a full-size wallet that fits in here. And then I'll show you once I get into the inside, there is a crossbody bag that I always carry with me so that when I get to my destination, I can just pull out that bag and start carrying it for wherever I'm going, if I'm walking around, whatever I'm doing, and put my wallet in that. So for when I'm on the plane though, I do like to just have it in this front zipper pocket so it's got easy access to it as well. And then you can see this really pretty lining in this. This is like a fern lining. It's really pretty on the inside. But I also have my AirPods in here as well. So those are really nice to have handy right here in this front pocket for if I'm watching a movie or anything on the plane, then I can have those listening to music or anything. Then I can have those really handy in the front part. So I do have those just like kind of poked down in there. In the front of this though, it does have this really nice soft lined pocket right here. So if you did have some sunglasses or some reader glasses that you wanted to put in here and have them protected, then you can definitely put that in this soft lined pocket here. Then I'm just gonna turn it around and show you that this does have a clear pocket. So if you did wanna put a license in here, if that's what you use when you go through TSA, then that could be really accessible as well to just throw your driver's license in this area. It does have three little pockets right here also that you can put credit cards in. So it does have a little built-in wallet if you don't wanna carry a full size wallet like I did but for me it's just a little bit easier to just throw that wallet in this front pocket and then when I get to wherever I'm going take my crossbody out that's on the inside and just pack it full with the things that I need for that day so that's all I have in this front pocket right here so then let's just go ahead and move on to this top pocket so in the front you can see it has this top zip around pocket that's a single zip and then this bottom one and then the felt line soft pocket on the front of that as well. So when you zip this one around, it kind of goes around to the side as well. And this is where I keep the things I really want to get to most. So I do have hand sanitizer that I put in there. And then I also have one of these little single Purell wipes because I wipe down everything. Again, like I said, I used to be a flight attendant and I know how those things don't get cleaned in between each passenger. So I like to wipe down everything I always have. Even pre-COVID, I will wipe everything down the armrests, the tray tables, just everything around me just because I want it to be clean. So I do have these little single wipes and then I also have some other wipes that are in the, on the inside that I don't travel without either. And then lastly, I just have some ibuprofen in here because sometimes I will get a headache in the airplane. So if that is the case, then I always wanna have the ibuprofen handy. So that's all I have in this top pocket right here in the front. So that's all the organization that is on the outside of this bag. And like I said, it does have a really nice wipeable bottom as well. If you do get it dirty, set it down anywhere. 
And so let's just go ahead and go onto the inside of this. So it does have a double zip and it zips all the way down to where the bottle pockets start. And you can see that you do have these D rings that are right here for if you want to attach the crossbody strap that does come with this and use it as either a shoulder bag or a crossbody bag. So when you open it up, here is what it looks like on the inside and how I have it packed up. So first thing I wanna show you is I do have some wipes. So I have some Clorox wipes, Lysol wipes, and some more Clorox wipes and then some wet ones for the hands always travel with these. I always have. I just like to be germ-free wherever I'm going. Then I also have another hand sanitizer in here. And I do just have this in a gallon size Ziploc bag just so nothing leaks on the inside. But I always carry some kind of Clorox wipes or anything, like I said, to wipe down the area that I'm at. And then next I'm going to pull out this crossbody bag. So I like to carry a crossbody in my carry-on so that whenever I get to where I'm going, I don't have to unpack anything. I can just immediately get in here, get the crossbody that I want to use. And I always try to use one that's really flat so it does pack easily because this did fit in the backpack with all the other things that I had. So I just like to carry this because it's really flat and it's small enough just to keep my essentials. So whenever I get to where I'm going, I will always put my wallet in there so I can just grab that wallet out of that front pocket, put some hand sanitizer in there, and then I also like to put my phone in there as well. So those are the three things that I always carry with me wherever I'm going. Lately, I've just had digital keys wherever I go, so I didn't have to worry about an extra key or anything like that. And I actually, when I'm flying, will keep my keys in my carry-on. That way I don't have to worry about losing them anywhere because I'm not gonna need them until I get back to the airport and drive away. So I will show you where those are at in just a moment. But this is just a little crossbody that I like to carry in my carry-ons as well. And then I also have my glasses. So I do wear contacts. And so the only time I wear my glasses is if my contacts get torn or something throughout the day and, or right before bed, I will put my glasses on. But I definitely don't want to put this in my check luggage just in case it gets lost. So I do have this in here. Even though I don't use it on the plane or anything, I do carry it in there just so it doesn't get lost in my checked baggage. And on the same note, I do have my contacts, so I do wear daily contacts. So for this particular trip, I was gone for four days. So I had 10 contacts in here, just in case some of them were torn or anything when you open them. So I always put my contacts in here again, because if your luggage is being checked and it gets lost, then you don't wanna lose your contacts. So since, especially since mine are dailies and I change them out every day, I do put my contacts in here as well. And then another thing I would pack in my carry-on would be any of my medication that I needed, but I don't take any medication, so I don't have that problem. But if you do have to take medication, definitely make sure if you check your bag that you keep your medication in your carry-on bag just for that reason. You don't want it to get lost, especially if it's something that you absolutely have to have and will take a while to get it. So then I also have another little pouch in here, and this is where I keep some of my tech gear. So this is an MZ Wallace. I think it's the small micro cosmetic bag. It's in this really pretty neon pink color. I liked it because it just gave this such a pop of color on the inside when you opened it up. And what I have in here is just my cables. So I have my watch charger, I have my wall charger for my phone, and then I also have an external battery pack with the charger for it as well. So that's all I keep in this little pouch right here, but I like to have that handy, especially in the airport. If I find a place where I can plug it up, I definitely wanna have this handy for me to be able to plug that up at the airport. All right, so you can see that I almost have this middle part emptied out, and then I have some organization on the inside that I will show you, but I always have to have a snack, so I've got these roasted almonds, and I also like to have a hair clip, just in case I wanna put my hair up at any point in time. I do like to have that handy and available. So this also has a key bungee on the inside of that, so I just have my keys attached to this so that when I am at the hotel or wherever I'm at, these will just be safely in my backpack. I'm not worrying where they're at. I don't have to transport them into my crossbody that I'll be using throughout the day or whatever. They are here. They will be here whenever I get home. So once I fly home, I know exactly where they are. They are on this key leash that's on the inside. So I just leave those attached to it the entire trip. So you can see that I've emptied out this middle part and there's some organization around it that I want to go ahead and go over. So let's just go around to the front, which has this cargo pocket. So it's one cargo pocket that stretches from one side to the other. And what I like to keep in that is my jewelry case. So this is my jewelry case. I like it because it has this little handle. It's really nice and neat and compact. And that's just where I keep all of my jewelry. Now, if I am just carrying on a suitcase as well as some other carry-on to go under the seat in front of me, then I will put this in that suitcase. But because of the fact that I had checked my bags, I did not want to keep that in there. So this is just a really nice, and I've actually not unpacked my jewelry yet. This is just a really nice jewelry bag and 
I just really like how slim it is because it does fit in this backpack really nicely and it does fit in that cargo pocket. So that's all that I had in the back part of this. And then when you turn it around, there is a place for two pen slots. So I actually have a pen and a pencil because you never know if you're gonna need a pen or a pencil, especially if you're doing an international flight then you definitely need it for customs and things like that, always filling out things. So I had my pen and pencil in the two pen slot. And then you can see right here beside those two pen slots and beside the key leash over here is a clear zipper pocket so when I land especially if I've been sleeping on the plane so I like to brush my teeth when I get to the airport so once we land before we like go out get whatever transportation we're getting to our destination then I like to just brush my teeth in the airport bathroom so I do have a travel toothbrush and a travel toothpaste that I travel with and just to keep everything so handy and together in this, I also have my lip balm because after I brush my teeth, I'm gonna have to freshen up my lipstick. So I do have a lip balm in there. Again, recycled air dries out your skin. So it's really nice to have that. And then I have my lipstick and this is one of my favorite lipsticks, you guys. It's from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Dance Floor Princess in the Hot Lips too. Gosh, this is what I have on now. It's just so Universal is such a great color. It's just one of my favorite colors and I'm almost out of it. I need to get some more. And then I have a lip gloss that's from Buxom. It is in Hot Toddy. I think these two complement each other. So that's just what I keep in this clear plastic area right here, just so I can brush my teeth once I get to the airport. Once my plane lands, I can brush my teeth and freshen up before we head on. So I have this all completely emptied out now and that is all that I took with me on my trip to Vegas with some of my friends. And that is all I needed. So I think that is just as minimally as you can get packed. But again, if I am on a longer flight or if I have a lot of connections or if I do have a suitcase that I'm actually going to put in the overhead bin, then I do use a different bag for that. And I do pack a little bit more, a little bit more entertainment for myself and things like that. I didn't take a lot of entertainment with me on this one, but I usually I do pack a little bit more. I would pack a book in there. I'm still old school. I still love to read a book. I don't like the Kindle. I just like to actually read the book. And so I will always carry a book with me. And I'll also try to carry some kind of cardigan or jacket in my backpack with me as well, but I didn't have room in this backpack. But I wanna just tell you a little bit about this bag. So there was one thing that I did not like about this bag when I was traveling. So you could see how full that I had it picked, packed up. It was packed up pretty much full to the top. As I was walking, and then I would go to like the restroom or something like that and set my backpack on the hook, I would see that it had unzipped some. So as you're walking, if you have it pretty full, it will partially come unzipped on the top, which I don't like, especially in an airport where there's a lot of people, they could just reach in and grab something out of my backpack. So that was one of the things I did not like about this bag. But other than that, it's really nice and lightweight before you even pack anything in it. It does fit a lot. You can see all of the things that I was able to fit in here. It's got a lot of organization on the inside and the outside. So it is a really great bag, but that was one of the things I did not like about this bag was that it opens a little bit as you're walking. It'll just kind of open just a little bit on the top part, but it is a double zip. And I probably could have solved that problem by just double zipping it over here, but I always like to double zip up at the top. I'm not sure why I do that, but it will come loose a little bit if you do do that. So this is the bag that I took. That is everything that I took in my carry-on. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I didn't overpack it at all. Usually if I'm, if I'm going to be traveling with my kids, I do pack a little bit more things in there, band-aids, things like that, that they might need. But this was just the essentials that I needed for a solo trip by myself and not with the husband, not with the kids. So I hope you found this helpful and I hope that the review of the bag was helpful for you guys as well. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would also love to have you consider hitting that subscribe button. I do weekly videos on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle, and I have a lot of travel videos that I've started to add in there as well. So I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, I hope you have a wonderful day.